Hello everyone and welcome back to Summer Maxi Tarot. I speak too fast, I'm sorry. Okay, I think I solved my issue with my uh, voice being too, uh, not loud enough. It should be alright now. So, as we've seen in the last video, we are looking for an escaped Bigfoot and for a giraffe woman. So, let's start our investigation. It's a mange ridden tuft of Bruno's Sasquatch hair. I think it would make a swell toupee for balding computer programmers. Don't be stupid, Max. Lucky, I still have enough hair. Yep. Can't talk to these guys. Hi. Uh huh. This is very interesting. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Uh huh. I think this is completely pointless. Hello. <laughs> yeah, to <suit> yourself. <clears throat> oh, I can call to this thing too. Hi. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, let's see something. The melted ice block. He's not my type. Oh, he's, he's talking to this guy. Okay, let's talk to them. Uh, which one do I talk to? Me, me, him, him. Okay, I'll tell you on same page. I'll bet life is an unending torment for you guys. Actually, it's not so bad. Speak for yourself. Where do you buy your clothes, anyway? These aren't clothes. Our skin is naturally green and vinyl-like. Good lord! He's buck naked! So are you. Yeah, but I'm cute and marketable. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything else you can tell us about your escape, Bigfoot? Well... He's a Bigfoot. He's escaped. He's a menace to society. What more could you possibly need to know? He's right, Sam. I don't think my colossal head could retain any more knowledge. What can you tell us about Trixie? She's a very caring, sensitive young woman. If you care about that kind of stuff. She used to sing folk songs to the other freaks in her trailer. You ever heard a Scrantonese folk song? No. You don't want to. Oh, there was one other thing. She likes her men like the Statue of Liberty. Green and rusty. Tall and dense. Who are those guys we bumped into out by the gate? Uh, what guys? One was a short guy with big hair. The other one was a tall guy with big hands. Oh, you must be talking about internationally renowned recording star Conroy Bumpus. And his assistant Lee Harvey. Bumpus? Who's Conroy Bumpus? He's a loon. Insane. And the country and western singer The Boot. He actually wanted to buy Bruno and Trixie from us. Boy, was he steamed when he found out that we didn't have many more. Okay, these guys are up to something. Well, it's back to the Bigfoot hunt. Hey. It's Max. Oh, it's not what I wanted. So this is what happens to unsuccessful third-party presidential candidates. I can't pick that up. I can't use these things together. Jesse James severed hand. And it's still twitching. What? I can't pick the lip? Okay. Jesse James severed hand. And it's still twitching. Oh. Is there anything in it? It's Max. Okay, no. It's the door to Trixie's trailer. 
That sounds like a country western song, Sam. Can I break the lock with this? I can't use these things together. I think the lock's already being used to keep me from entering that trailer. I'd better do something about that padlock first. I can't use these things together. Mm, is there anything else I can use? Jesse James severed hand. And it's still twitching. Not yet, apparently. It's a wholesome whacker rat game. Oh, can't play? I can! Oops. I want something. I want something. Wonderful. What the? Oh, is it? It's a wholesome whacker rat game with a prize in the dispenser. It's a wholesome whacker rat game with a prize in the dispenser slot. Oh, a flashlight. Is it working? Hey, this crummy prize doesn't come with any light bulb. <laughs> Who's this guy? If I didn't know that this guy was a highly skilled professional, I'd be very afraid. The cone of tragedy. Cone of tragedy. What the hell is this? He's not my type. Excuse us. We need some help, and although you seem dangerously unequipped brain-wise, we've come to you for advice. Huh? Whoa, you're a big boy. And that's why I sit down all the time. You guys all go to the same tattoo parlor or what? Actually, these aren't tattoos. It's my natural skin. You guys all go to the same tattoo parlor or what? Actually, these aren't tattoos. It's my natural skin. Okay. What do you know about Bruno the Bigfoot? Who wants to know? We're the freelance police and we're in a race against time. And we're barefoot. All I know about Bruno is what the Cushmans tell me. Well, that was useless. You might want to try the Tunnel of Love, though. Rumor has it that one of Bruno's buddies hangs out in there. Ooh, let's go, Sam. Oh, hush. Do you have any idea what happened to Trixie? Trixie, the giraffe girl from Scranton? No, Trixie, the talkative poodle. She's my best customer. She used to ride the Cone of Tragedy for hours on end. I love the way your neck used to whip back and forth when I cranked it up to full speed. Your sadism is a credit to your profession. <laughs> Me and my partner want to ride the cone of tragedy. That's right, we've lost our will to live. I'm not supposed to, but what the heck. You two look like a couple of caring, non-litigious mammals. Strap yourselves in, and I'll turn on the cone. Okay, well, it's going to happen. What the? Okay. Uh. What the hell was the point of this? Sam, um, are you dead, man? Does this have any use? I don't remember. I feel tragically empty. Me too. It's as though an integral part of my essence has been ripped from my being. <laughs> Do it again. Maybe later, chum. Can I do anything with this? 
I bet they have four or five accidents a year on this ride. Me? <laughs> Maybe we should ask the ride operator's permission to use this ride. Hey, what happened to my carefully collected box of useless junk? Oh, cool, pause my inventory. Will you help me? Depends. What do you want? Where'd all my cool junk go? It must have fallen out of your coat while you were on the ride. Here's a claim ticket. Take it to the lost and found. Okay. I get this. We're gonna get something or something from us. It's one of those impossible to win carny games that have been ripping off the American consumer for decades. I love capitalism. It's out of order. Okay, so there's some font items. Holy cripes on toast! Nothing personal, but you're the single ugliest thing we've ever seen. Well, there was that computer game developers conference. You lost something. I lost a whole bunch of neat junk. You must have been gifted with psychic powers to make up your obvious physical shortcomings. Bad deal. Have you got a claim ticket? Sure. Right here while I search through the back room. Well, here's all the stuff we've collected off the Kono tragedy today. It's all yours. I feel whole again. Okay. Have we gotten something extra? Yeah, it's magnetic. It's a powerful refrigerator magnet that says World of Fish on its side. I wonder how that got in there. The clue! And it does something on the map. Great. I don't think I possess the psychotic strength needed to ring the bell. Hmm, maybe my, uh, Maxis. Hey, Max. What? Can you ring that bell? Sure. I'm not sure if you want to do anything, though. You're my hero, little buddy. I better not. Max is highly flammable, if not downright explosive. Okay, I need to find a ton of love. Since there is supposed to be a clue in here. Oh, here we go. Anything else before I go? This is Oh, okay, okay, I get it. The tunnel of love. Yippee! Woohoo! Romantism. Oh, I can't do stuff here. Better to reign in hell than to serve in heaven. Milton. Heaven is a place where nothing ever happens. David Byrne. Can't do anything here? I can't pick that up from here. I can't pick that up from here. Wow, a loving recreation of that Evelyn Morrison classic, Revenge of the Gill Guy. You really should get out more, Sam. I think I, I need to get off at this point. Just get the I can't use these things together. Oh, I think I need an air ride rope to, to scare the, the bus or something. Well, that was fun. My little body's covered with swan pimples. Do I get anything from this? Hmm. I'm forgetting something. Well, let's go take a look at this uh, new AI, AI I found. World 
the fish. How does this have to do with anything? I hear a distant rumbling. You should have thought of that before we left. What? Oh, it's an helicopter. Right, no, that's the end of the map. I've got a bucket of fish, wonderful. Can I talk to this guy? Yeah. What's going on here? What's going on? <laughs> I'll tell you what's going on. I'm risking pneumonia standing in this creek, that's what's going on. You must really love fish. Actually, I'm allergic to them. Then why do you work here? Because I'm more allergic to poverty. Good point. You must really love fish. Actually, I'm allergic to them. Then why do you work here? Because I'm more allergic to poverty. I love all your movies, especially the early funny ones. What are you talking about? Sorry, I must have confused you with someone else. <laughs> this is supposed to be a parody of a movie character or something? I love all your movies, especially the early funny ones. What are you talking about? Sorry, I must have confused you with someone else. What do you know about Bigfoots? My great aunt Lois married a Bigfoot. He used to shed all over Grandma Phyllis's upholstery. What? What's the deal with that helicopter? That helicopter is the bane of my existence. Every time I catch enough fish to fill a net, the helicopter swoops down and carries the fish to the Ball of Twine Diner in Central Diff, Minnesota. How sad. I know. It's like being stuck in a Norman Mailer novel. Have you seen Conroy Bumpus? No. I try not to listen to country music. When I do, I usually have an uncontrollable desire to drink a lot of beer and do illegal things to farm animals. You too? Okay. <laughs> Don't move. That's a large fiberglass fish. What the? Fish appears to be held in place by a hard to reach bolt. Hmm. I can't use these things together. Okay, it's not working. Well, there's not much to do about it, but it, it gave us a new location, so let's go there. Largest ball of twine. Wonderful. The world's largest ball of twine. <laughs> this was some kind of giant giant kitten. Mm. Oh, we can go downstairs and upstairs. Okay. Words like big and large only begin to describe this thing. I think stupid and inane would be useful additions. Not to mention grotesque. Now there's something you don't see every day. What the hell are you talking about, Sam? We dump our fish heads out the window all the time. Yeah, but these are halibut. 
I can't cut off a piece of twine in the middle. That would destroy its status as the biggest ball of twine in the world. My god, someone is actually being considerate of stuff. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. Fun facts about the world's largest ball of twine. If laid out from end to end, the ball would stretch from here to the far side of Jupiter. Also, scientists theorize that by 2053, the sheer weight of the ball will push the Earth out of its orbit, throwing our planet on a collision course with the Sun. Good thing my life expectancy is only six years. Way to take the short view, little buddy. <laughs> According to the plaque, this is a shaving from the first foot of the ball of twine. I didn't know it was old enough to shave. If I'm gonna need any string in this game, it had better be a longer piece. Okay, that's a hint, I guess. I can't use these things together. It's a one two hundred thousand scale model of the actual ball of twine. And it's only one two hundred thousand as stupid as the actual ball of twine. This is just a real ball of twine. I can't pick that up. You have to see. Do you work here? Yep, have been for 40 years. So how can I help you? Stop staring at me. I can't help it. It's places like this that make me wish I were Canadian. <laughs> well, they've got one of these too, but half of it's French. What? <laughs> you haven't seen an eight foot tall woodland creature answering to the name of Bruno around here, have you? Are you talking about Bruno the Bigfoot? Yeah. He and a bunch of other Bigfoots helped build the ball of twine back in 56. Why, the stories I could tell. No! I've heard enough stories today. Have you seen Bruno recently? I haven't seen Bruno in 30 or so years. Is he in trouble? That depends on your definition. I like to use the one that involves spiny echidna. Well, is there anything else I can help you with? What's with all the fish guts flying past the window? Those are leftovers from our last fish delivery. Our famous rotating restaurant has fresh fish flown in every day from the world of fish in Mosquitoville, Missouri. Has Conroy Bumpus passed through here? Who is that? He's a country western star gone berserk with power. I wouldn't know him if I saw him. I don't get out much. This ball isn't really made from a continuous piece of twine, is it? Uh, yep, it's the longest piece of twine in the world by 92 yards. That'll be all for now. Okay, this was completely pointless. Let's see above. Okay, let's take the time upstairs and no! Dum -dum -dum. Shake a leg, Max. Hey, look! What? one long loose end. <laughs> Too bad we can't reach it from this side of the deck. You always need a large piece of string in games like this. Okay, so we need to get to the other side somehow. Very well. Uh, whoa, who's this? Hello? What you doing? Using my telekinetic powers to bend my tools. Why? to help me fix the rotating mechanism on this f***ing diner. Well, that makes sense. Not really. What are these malformed tools good for? Lots of things. Like scratching those hard to reach places. Every place is hard for me to reach. Would you like a free sample? Sure. Let me make one for you. It's 
all yours. Thanks. Oh, I see. We need to use this on uh, that big fish thing uh, over at the river. Have you heard anything about Bruno the Bigfoot? Who the is Bruno the Bigfoot? Sam, he's speaking in tongues. Should I even bother asking you about Conroy Bumpus? No. Okay. Percent sign, hammer sand, dollar sign. And colon, semicolon, too. <laughs> what are you doing? Swearing in longhand, asterisk mouth. <laughs> you guys are killing me. Hey, lay off the swearing. We're trying to appeal to kids. Get bent. How do you bend these tools anyway? You think I'm going to spill my f***ing secrets to you two mama looks? Well, bye. Okay, we go to wrench. Mm, let's see. It's a conveniently located pair of mounted binoculars. Uh, and the spinning. Can I stop the spinning? I'm sure this is somehow useful, but I'll be damned if I know how. Taking electric cables and using... Okay. Now I can control the speed and direction of the diner via these mounted binoculars. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard! <laughs> oh, maybe not. Uh, I don't think it's working. I don't even know why I would want to do that. <laughs> I'm sure this is somehow useful, but I'll be damned if I know how. Okay, that's for later, I think. Let's go back downstairs. We, I, I know what to do. Okay, let's go back here. And I'm using my wrench to break this thing for some reason. That did the trick. Okay, now what? I go back in there? It's kind of wobbly in here. Uh, maybe I should unmask. Hey, come here. Geronimo! Oh, good. One must admire the skill with which the wily uber trout stalks its prey. This is one of the ten most liberating experiences of my life, Sam. Holy mackerel. I'm a trout, stupid. <laughs> a trout? I don't even thought you were made of plaster. Oh. Now what do we do, Sam? I'm thinking. What's that noise? It sounds like you do when you've eaten too much Thai food, Sam. Yeah, okay, now the helicopter is gonna take us away and bring us back to the restaurant above. Which makes it the most stupid breaking ever. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I love 
at least it's working. I have no idea why I do it. I'm doing this, by the way. Yeah. I think I need to get a piece of wood, but I'm okay. <laughs> um. I told you I had a plan. Wonderful. We need that loose end, Sam. Yeah. I can't reach it from here. Ah, uh, sand. Hey, buddy. Ready? Hey, Max. I've got another plan. I think I like you better when you were clueless. Shut up and climb over the rail. Okay. See, that wasn't so bad. What are you two doing out here? Any more bright ideas? Let's start crying like babies. <laughs> Galileo was wrong. I don't think we were in a vacuum, Max. Hey, how will we get our car back? Wait for it. Okay. So we got it's ninety one yards of twine. We got all stuff back. Now what? I think I need to go back to the carnival, but uh, I'm not sure what to do next, so I'm gonna pause the video until I find out what to do next actually. So thank you for watching and uh, see you next episode, so goodbye everyone.